Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the big Top Bash. Obviously, first stream, first big event here. We are live, and here we are. Well, ready for a big two games today we have, obviously. That will be shown shortly, but alongside me, we have Sky alongside me. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing good, Gas. Uh, slightly late at the start there. Just, you know, first first big event like this. You know, there's always going to be a few issues in the background. But we're finally here, which is the main thing. And it's good, great to be casting alongside you again, Gas, because obviously we, we know each other from uh, other tournaments and what have you in casting. So this one is uh, going to be a pretty, pretty fun affair because, yeah, we've got some good players lined up and uh, I'm looking forward to it. I've had my cup of tea, so I'm feeling it now. <laughs> I'm feeling ready to go. Uh, and yeah, hopefully we can get this out way underway whilst uh, we just l allow a bit of time for the players to sort of get into it. Yeah, of course. Obviously, eight teams, big big quarterfinals. Get two games today. We've got one at five. Um, obviously, it's all to be shown as it says at the bottom. She says at the bottom we have Royal Strikers versus Team Ignition as our first series. And um, yeah, should we should we go into some info on the teams? Yeah, lay it out on me. I mean, uh, we 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 did give uh, all the teams a sort of questionnaire to fill out beforehand, and uh, you know, as Rocket League players are one of the most consistent type of players you can find in the esports world. Uh, obviously, not all of them answered all the questions, but then some of them did in uh, quite a detailed response. So we've got some information, um, but we can certainly, yeah, we. we Whilst we're waiting for the toys, yeah, we might as well go into it. So, uh, first up, Team Ignition. Do you want to tell us a couple of bits about them? Yeah, um, obviously, Team Ignition, um, freshly formed team, finalised earlier in January, so start of this year. Basically, a new team looking to build more chemistry in this tournament. Before this tournament, we have a lot of the, a lot of them as a as playstyle as as individuals. Uh, they play exciting, fast playing, and are a dynamic roster that love passing plays and play out from the back. So, a bit like football in real life. You see that a lot of teams now they do that. And, well, we've been told not to be surprised if we see a solo play from one of their players. So, that's something to keep our eye out for. Yeah. I mean, I'd, I've always got to say, you know, a team that. The, the amount of detail they gave in their sort of <laughs> playstyle and uh, how they how they're looking to perform, I don't know whether that's overconfidence or actual confidence in that they have this ability. It's it's going to be an interesting one to see, but uh, they certainly know, they know how they want to play, which is the key thing. And uh, I think certainly when you get into this sort of level that you know of uh, Rocket League players, they're sort of they're teetering on the edge of sort of getting into the grand champ, and they know what they do. They've got mechanics and what have you, so. Whether they can gel as a team is always a big factor, and uh, you, they've they've obviously got a good starting foundation in sort of knowing how they want to play, and like you say, playing like more of a football playing out from the back. Uh, for me, that's personally quite a dangerous one um, <laughs> yeah. in Rocket League. It's not a, it's not a big field, uh, so if you're trying to play from the back, then uh, you leave yourself open. But yeah, nonetheless, it's uh, it's it's exciting to see how this ignition team will sort of fare up. Yeah, obviously we're looking at career highlights. Um, there's no pa no big past results that they have shown so far. So obviously, as I said, new roster. So it's going to be the first real showing of them in this tournament and what they can provide potentially outside of this tournament and if they can go further. And obviously four-man roster. We don't know which three will show up alongside us. Hopefully Ignition Mango, the one that's got Mango in front of his name, will be there. Um, obviously, looks like he's either the owner or at least the captain for this team. They haven't named a captain directly, so hopefully it's him because he has ignition at the front of his name. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just Mango. Do not worry. We've had that fed through to us, and um, you have Turian, Jet, and Faze as their other players. And I mean, we have the time. Should should we do? We, we want to go into the players individually, Sky. Uh, might as well, might as well. I, I, it's sort of the individuals. I don't know if we got individual stats to them. Uh, I don't think we have. Um, I no, we haven't, from what I can tell. Unless you've got any finger. So I tell you, but because we haven't got the individual stats, I mean, oh, yeah. why don't? Because I, I, I would say let's uh, let's have a look at the opponents. But like I said earlier, I mean, they their response was uh, <laughs> yeah. 
So we don't know what, how they're going to perform. So we might as well sort of see, you know, what's in store for these teams going forward in the uh, in the tournament and how it's sort of all structured up. Because this is, uh, if anything, this is going to be a good warm up for um, for sort of the you know the teams that are sort of playing in uh, the new championship in PCS, the the Premiership Championship Series. I think I got that right. Yeah. Um, so good warm up for them. But as you can see, they're starting in the quarterfinals, and it's uh, essentially eight teams going up against uh, one another in a literally you know knockout format. Nothing nothing too fancy here for for, for a first stream. We've got to keep it uh, nice and uh, straightforward, make it easier to follow. But yeah, quarterfinals, semifinals, and grand finals. So it's if, I'll ask you the question then, Gas. I mean, if you were one of these. Uh, one of these teams going forward how would you approach this do you sort of do you go all guns blazing from the start or do you just kind of take it a bit easy and try and set out your opponents how would you go for it it depends on the play style if if you're more offensive as a team and it also depends on seeds with a variety of teams from diamond through to c3 playing in these so i know as a top seed they'll probably be looking to push get goals early on but in these tighter matches i think you'll see game one and potentially game two sorted on sussing out your opponent and how and how to beat them because that in the end could be crucial obviously quarterfinals today we have Raw Strikers Ignition on stream first and on at six o'clock I believe we have next Destiny Team Silent versus GG Team two matches which are believed to be very close and then tomorrow we'll have the semi-finals and the grand finals for you and as you can see matches today have been put up on stream which is absolutely perfect and obviously the two quarterfinals, well, we'll find out tomorrow or we'll find out during the stream. Depends when they're played. Yeah. I mean, it's it, it, the, the great thing about these sort of tournaments is the fact that they, there is a sort of element of unknown because, yes, you know, these teams have been seeded that sort of based on how they sort of fare in terms of, you know, their Rocket League rankings. But uh, as you're probably aware, Gas and Cast in many, many games yourself, and uh, when it sort of comes down to it, when you're sort of playing on stream as well, uh, pressure can sometimes get to some players that haven't sort of quite gone out of their comfort zone and sort of playing in these sort of high competitive stakes. So it's really like, I I wouldn't put too much into the seeding just yet. It'll be interesting once we've got the quarterfinal results in and how the teams have performed. And I think that's when we can start making sort of some serious predictions as to who's going to be uh, uh, moving on into into the next rounds. But uh, I mean, this one for me, I mean, these uh, this is the fourth and the fifth seed. So th on paper, this is going to be quite an even even match. But I, you know, t uh, yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. You did say you know suss out your opponent at the start and sort of see see how they uh, how they can do it. But I mean, I totally agree with you on that one. You, you do, I don't want to go guns blazing too fast mm -hmm. um otherwise that's it you know you, you shoot yourself on the foot leave yourself exposed to the bat and before you know it you're uh, looking at a brazil um that's just my opinion but uh, mm -hmm. yes yeah, so, so i'm looking forward to sort of basically I'm, I'm just excited to see how these teams perform yeah he's don't worry he's slowly getting through his tea he's getting more excited and the excitement <laughs> will only rise as the series goes along but obviously both teams fourth and fifth it's going to be the closest we get obviously of the whole whole weekend and as you said it's about the the stream nerves as well obviously seeding might not matter to some of these teams because you might have teams that you said played in these leagues before played all over us we know team ignition a newer team so as a team maybe haven't had that competitive environment yet where they've played on stream and they have like the nerves whereas obviously royal strikers we don't know much about them obviously they didn't fill out the form for us so sadly we can't provide the information but they might have the the upper hand, and you never know. There could be a surprise three zero in here. Yeah, they, wait, wait, surprise for who? Do you reckon the ignition are going to be the Ooh. surprise or the strikers? What, I know this is going to be a shot in the dark, <laughs> gas, because you know his first round. Yeah. But, you know, what what are you feeling up there? Like, what are you going to go for? I, I, you know, I feel like the team that written nothing in their feedback form are gonna are gonna take it. I reckon it's Royal Strikers three one. We got. What well, two of the players in now, which is which is a good sign. I believe they're from Royal Strikers because definitely not Mango and his crew from Ignition. Um, but yeah, they should be on their way relatively shortly. Uh, maybe maybe we can ask them some questions about their team while we wait. But except for that, what do you think is going to happen in this series? Shot as you said, shot in the dark. Shot in the dark. I would probably. 
You're, okay, you're going for the strike just based on the fact that they're playing the mental game. They didn't respond. They didn't want to give any secrets of where as to, you know, how they're going to be performing, how they're going to be playing. So, for me, I think I'm going to go for the team that have put down a lot of information about how they want to play. Um, whether they can do that or not, that is the that is the big question. Uh, but, of course, you know, best of five. So, they got, they got plenty of time to sort of find their footing. I mean, yes, they are a new team. But I'm feeling I'm feeling confident that they might do it. And uh, whilst we wait, I've got, I've got another question for you, Gas, actually. Because yep. obviously, you can, we're sort of the maps that we're going to be playing on, do you reckon that that can have a factor in uh, sort of how some teams perform? Because I know Rocket League players, are, they're a finickety bunch. They, you know, they like things in a certain way and, you know, playing in a certain car. So do you reckon uh, map choice has a big effect on teams sort of going into these sort of tournaments? You know what I think it does because a lot of a lot of players have obviously their preferred maps and that sort of thing. Um, potentially Salty Shores might not be everyone's favourite map, or Neon Fields might not be everyone's favourite map. And people sometimes, obviously, I've experienced this before, so I'm speaking of past experience, can have certain issues on certain maps due to the potentially frame drops and that sort of thing. But if it's not a map you're expecting, then it could throw someone off. I, I believe that we might see a game or two to completely thrown over now as we're going to transition over now as we see yet yeah, here are your stadium selections for today obviously salty shores night being the only one i believe not in current competitive actually i think it might be in competitive rotation never mind you obviously have salty shores utopia coliseum dfh stadium then neo tokyo and your last one obviously you've, you've got to have champions field as game five there, there's no debating that you got it yeah it has to be it has to be the sort of finale and it, you know that's what i'm hoping for to be honest out of this one gas i mean i'm pretty sure our producer in the background will be absolutely hating if this does go to a game five <laughs> um but you know for a caster it's what we want to see we want to see these teams going at it and sort of going the long distance and sort of making it to champions field that's where it all kicks off and I tell you what, mate, we've we've got all players ready and waiting in yes. the lobby. Yes. So this is this is a happy time. I'm feeling it. I've I've had my cup of tea, right, gas. I'm good. Let's we've got yes. the players in. Let's go. Let's send them on their way. Hopefully they've they've read the go message and they join the pitch. But maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Uh we'll I, 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 I picked too soon. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, we're sat here. We're going to sit here. I'll just tell them again just to make sure. But underway, as you said, finally, we get some Rocket League in today. Hey, there we go. Royal That's Strikers joining the field. Finally, looks like they have a US player. Hopefully, Team Ignition are going to join as well. Uh, otherwise, we're going to run into some <laughs> problems very early on. But yes, they, they, they do find the field. Well, one of them finds the field. Two, three, wait, we have a match on our hands. And my Rocket League has crashed. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh go wrong, eh? Just what you wanted to start. I'll tell you what, I guess. You get your Rocket League sorted and we'll, uh, I'll try and sort of keep you up to date with what's going on on the field at the moment. There's Wing Evans save on a line early shot from, oh my word. I mean, I'll tell you what, I'm Jetix. Oh, okay. It, that's the thing I struggle with, Gas. I don't know about you, but sometimes some of the names that some of these players come up with uh, always a bit of a tongue twister. But hopefully I should be able to get through this one as we got a Sean Tag off the post. Chronix with an epic save, but he can't keep the, keep the follow-up out of the back of the net. And Iron Jets snaps onto the top of that one. Beautiful save, but slight double commit on the line, causing the net to be wide open at the back there. And Iron Jets just says, thank you very much. He steps in. And sends it into the back of the net. So early doors here. Uh, taking the one nil advantage. Or of course, uh, the team in uh, red, orange, which is team ignition. And uh, we'll see whether uh, uh my words. So I'm getting trying, I'm getting my voice stuck at the moment here, doing all this talking at the moment. But Royal Strikers really, they can come back into this one. We will see early doors here, though. So still plenty left to play for. And of course, best of five series as I'm Jets oh. trying to get the second, and he does. And I'm guessing by that reaction, Gas, you're back in the game as well to see that. I am, and well, it's a good fake from Mango, and Jet is just so much quicker. But there we go. He takes them up to 2-0. And well, very good start for Ignition. They will be loving life right now, as it could be 3 as Jet 
does take it to the corner. Looks for a pass middle, but Chronic going to get onto the end of it. But once again, we're going to see Ignition on the attack here. But Wing Devon is going to try and beat Mango. He does. Is he going to get the ball center? No, he isn't. Not. Oh, yes, he is. Never mind. Pass this curse a bit early in Jet. Taking the ball all the way down the field. He looks to drop it mid. Oh, a bit of a mistouch, but the attack slowly fizzles out from Ignition. Hey, they're raw strikers. They need to work on the communication. There's a lot of double commits and a few triple commits uh, creeping in. And it seems like uh, Ignition are very much aware of this and looking to capitalise on their mistakes as Faye's in the corner. I can't quite get the touch on that. And uh, Chronic's now trying to clear his lines. But at the moment, it seems very much like Ignition are the better team at the moment. Yeah, it does. And well, the Royal Strikers <laughs> almost had something to say about that. As they kind of almost able to put a shot in. And oh my, we've just oh. seen flying cars. And Jet is going to go above Mango. And he's going to put in his hat trick and steal a goal from Mango. And it's a triple commit from Royal Strikers eating to it. Nothing very royal about their playstyle so far. And his ignition seems to be lighting up the field at the moment. They were indeed. And I did call it, I did say it's the double commits and the triple, triple commits, which you've got to watch out for. And uh, they did put in an epic triple commit, which uh, probably had pride of place uh, in the red arrows, as opposed to on the Rocket League field. But nevertheless, uh, <laughs> they got a, a lot of work to do as they're approaching the halfway point. Three goals down. And uh, they got to find their communication. Chronic, oh, that's a bit more like it. Pass infield, but didn't quite find his teammate on the end of that one. And, uh, now it's a turn of ignition to try and build up and to make sure that they put this game to bed. But uh, if we hit halfway point, ignition firmly in control. Yeah, and nothing looks like changing so far. As Evan, ooh, it's not me want to make him touches like that, but it's a good recovery from Kelsia, ooh. who looks ooh. to shoot it, and it goes in. It's a very good 50 from Gelsia. And well, we say it's been ignition, but Royal Strikers finally find that strike onto the net. You see it so often in Rocket League, those sort of 50s where you're on your offense, you're stretching to try and get the ball and send it into the back of your opponent's net when you just, in fact, just get red completely and it ends up in the back of your net. Absolutely, oh my word, nearly creeping in there. Wing Devon on the response. He's hit the same post and couldn't quite get on the end of that. And it definitely seems like Royal Strikers have finally woken up. They're here to play now. Chronic's left-hand side of the sidewall lets it run away from him. And Nine Jets trying to clear the lines for ignition. And it does seem like Royal Strikers, after that goal, is just giving a little bit of spark of energy. Never mind. Oh, well, well, it was a well, good spark of energy it was. They had that good play of period, but we all know Catholic Curse exists. Mango <laughs> catches Chronic's off of his line. Perfect placement from him. He picks up his first goal of the series and his fourth for the team. And well, 4 1, that might kill a bit of momentum if there was any. But Evan is going to beat Mango here as now Jono looks for his first big play on the ball here. But Chronic is going to, I think, a bit of a failed pinch attempt there, but he's still going. He's still going here all the way. Could, we could see it all the way, but it's a good 50 from Jono and. The attack is not over yet, but what an attempt that was. Indeed, it's a bit more, more like it. I mean, even if uh, even if uh, Royal Strikers lose this one, as long as they don't let this game run away, they might have a bit of confidence boost here. Face Jono. Oh, managed to get the save on that one. His pressure's still on them very much. Winged, winged Evan. Didn't quite send it on target, and they got to reset again. But it's a turn of ignition now to apply a bit of pressure with a minute left on the clock. Three goal advantage. They're going to be feeling very comfortable. We'll try and make it a little bit more comfortable for them but certainly Royal Strikers yeah as I was saying don't, if they can just ride this one out maybe get another consolation goal then uh, in the second game we might see a little bit of a better performance from the start from them yeah it might have just been warming up might have just been stream nerves but that's going to be Wing Devon with a shot but Ignition Mango picks up his second save of the game as now Kelsio is beaten by Mango the passing plays starting to come out they did say they like passing from the back and well, it started to show as Chronix looks for a 50, but Wing Devon looking to transform in Mango, pushing it upfield, isn't going to get the middle he wanted. And well, it's going to get the boost, so cause a bit of disruption here. Never mind, as we see 1v1, 1v1, Ooh. and well, savior for Jono. He's done bits in the defense here, and it's going to be 4 1 and looking to end 4 1 at this rate. Is 
It's definitely a better, better uh, playstyle, but I think Royal Strikers just need to work a bit more more as a team at the moment. It was very much there was a good, some good solo efforts on their part, but uh, it's just a case of the fact that they didn't really seem to gel as well as a unit uh, as Team Ignition did. And uh, it seems like the fact that uh, Team Ignition knew their playstyle beforehand, but it was, you know, it, that kind of showed in that first game there. They, they were working well as a team. Uh, they did concede that one uh, unfortunate goal for them, but you know they they didn't seem too under pressure from Royal Strikers. So lots lots to do, I think, for Royal Strikers if they want to try and get back into this series. Yeah, and I mean lots of positives for Ignite. They, I mean they scored four. I mean in a game one on stream, what more could you ask for? Obviously Royal Strikers they took a bit of time to get into the game. They but they did look a lot better. I think as soon as that that edge that maybe sketchy first minute or two was over they looked like a very good side that, that could potentially compete with ignition so i think after game one's done which it is now we're on for a very very entertaining series yeah and i think as long as we're well i say as long as royal strikers ignition will be wanting to sort of do a repeat performance in that second game there but if royal strikers can just keep them at bay for the uh from the start there then you know you might feel a little bit of confidence and sort of just build on that uh, the confidence throughout the second game here. But uh, we will see, nonetheless. Certainly uh, a good sign though from Ignition, and uh, they'll be looking to build on that one. His face, Jono, going up against Winged Evan here for the second for the start of game number two, uh, and we'll see how this one gets underway. Yeah, and well. It's gonna it's gonna be a good start offense for Royal Strikers here as they look to push back from a game one defeat and that could just be in it is Royal Strikers find the net very quickly. Only eleven seconds in. Wing Devon, a bouncer over Jet and Jono isn't gonna get there. And well, this is the start Royal Strikers wanted. Eleven seconds in, they take the lead. Good read there. It's a slight wayward touch off the backboard uh, from in from Jet, I think it was. Nearly had the immediate response there. And the triple commit again has left the net wide open. And face John I has no problem in sending that one into the back of the net. And just when we thought Royal Strikers maybe had a bit of a team talk during that slight break there. No, it turns out they're still triple committing all over the place. So uh, they've got to tighten that up if they want to uh, make sure they give themselves a better chance. Royal Strikers and that player are just like, mine, 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 mine. They all wanted it. <laughs> but... Only that does leave your net wide open, I'm afraid. And Mango, oh. brilliant dunk. The defender a bit too far back, and Mango finds the perfect amount of aggression. As Kelsia not going to get the clear. Mango slots it top corner. That's a very quick turnaround. 13 seconds, two goals, and it's a lead again for Team Ignition. Well, I think on that occasion, the Royal Strikers' uh, rotation was a little bit lax. As uh, you had, I think it was uh, Chronix that was just waiting for whatever reason at the near post there. And the ball just sails over his head and uh, not much uh, Kelsey could do with that one. But, you know, fair play to Ignition. They've picked themselves up after uh, conceding that shock early goal. And they're uh, looking like, again, like they did in the first game. They're looking very good on rotations, good efforts on attempts on goal. And they see a demo on the way out. I've got, I've got to see more of that oh. guess. And there's a third. And we're not even at, at the minute played, Mark. Jeez. Yeah, and I think Chronix is going to be kicking himself. He drives, he thinks he has it, he drives right past it. Jono, he's two for two in this game and this series. He's got a very good shooting accuracy and, well, we're not even a minute in. And it's three to one. But it's a good kickoff for Kelsia, who looks to put it middle for Royal Strikers. But it's not going to affect them in any way as Chronix picks up the ball in offense. It's a good start in offense for Strikers. We haven't seen this much. It's off the post again. And Wing Devon having all the chances for Ooh. Royal Strikers. But the, it, once again, they aren't finding the back of the net here. And not trying a bit more signs. Not a few more opportunities on net. And there's another one there. Face Jono, easy enough for him. And uh, Mango just trying to clear his lines. Jono now off the backboard there into the path for Kelsey. Though Wing Devon turns quickly on that one, but sends it wrong side of the post and can't quite get the snapshot he wanted. But it's a good pressure now from Royal Strikers. Oh. That's what we saw in game number one. It's almost like they they just kicked themselves a little bit and uh, finally woken up. And there's almost awkwardly across the net. Wing Devon can't oh quite my. go in the end of that one. 
And we're still 3 1 to ignition. Well, it's, it's like I, I'm thinking I've seen a trend here. Royal Strikers concede three and they think, all right, we, we might actually have to attack now. <laughs> and well, they're, they're doing a good job. They're giving us, they're giving us, and obviously the viewers, a very good entertainment factor. As well, Jono is going to beat Wing Devon here. He's going to have space, but Kelsia challenges immediately. No time on the ball for them, as we're going to see Mango look for the 50. It's a good 50 from Kelsia. Kelsia booms it. Jono is going to get it, and it creeps away slowly. It's another good beat from Jono, as he looks to send Team Ignition into a 4-1 lead. But Kelsia cuts it out and is going all the way here, actually. All the way Ooh. here! And oh, oh my! <laughs> Off the bar, Sky. You can't have any closer than that. You can't. I'm sure they, if they had it, they'd be asking for the VAR check on that one. But <laughs> uh, unfortunately for them, it's not on this occasion now. Here's the turn of Jetix trying to work his way in the corner. The ball's got straight back up the end. It's going to bounce awkwardly across the net. Can Kelsey get the end of that oh. one? He can't. Be impatient, Wing Devon. Oh, my word. Kelsey had just had to wait a fraction longer and he would have sent that to the top bins. But unfortunately for them, it just doesn't seem like it's their game at the moment, Royal Strikers and uh, Ignition. But you count in their lucky stars at the moment. They're putting in a good effort, but the few frailty signs on defense there. Seems like there could be a few opportunities for Royal Strikers going forward. But uh, with a minute and a half on the clock. Oh, oh. saving a line! <laughs> oh my word. Ignition, they're on the back foot at the moment, it seems. Oh, they're on the back foot by a margin. And Royal Strikers have suddenly picked up form. Where this has come from, I don't know. But they found it. It's just they pulled out their bucket. They've gone, oh, hello. This is this is good plays we're making. We're, we, they, if this was 1-1, I would have this as Royal Strikers game to win. And even a 3-1, I still think if they can find the net once within the next 20 seconds, it's their game to win. But we're going to see another good clear from Jono, who's absolutely put in a shift. For ignition this game and a demo for Kelsey is going to open up the field. A slight double commit from Royal Strikers and the attack fizzles away as quickly as a mento. <laughs> quickly as a mento. I love that analogy there. <laughs> love it, Gas. Uh, you throw me on that one though. That's completely caught me off guard here. But anyway, the wing is <laughs> left hand side. Trying to get a touch in field. Oh, Chronic's not able to get on the end of that one and now leaving himself exposed at the back, but nothing more can do with that. Oh. Injetics though! Steps up, turns uh, turns counter, makes it count. Lovely touch there from Mongo off the backboard. Kelsey, awkward touch, leaves it nicely for Jetix though. He sends the back end there. And I think that's game set and match now for uh, uh, for Ignition. Well, it's certainly game. The set's almost over and so is the match. But they're obviously Ignition will be on match point. And I'll be honest, that has came massively against the run of play. Real Strikers had so much possession, so much appliance, and oh my goodness, Jet, what a save. And it's 4-1 again, we're seeing a repeat, no, maybe, oh, that hasn't found the post either. There's been nothing royal about their striking so far, and that would have been 5, I think. But it drops for 4-1, and well, 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 Sky. It was Royal Strikers' game, but Team Ignition just found the back of the net. I mean, it's... You got to think how how Royal Strikers only got the one goal in that game. I mean, it it was at one moment it just seems like the, the ball with that amount of pressure. If you can keep it up, it will eventually end up in the back of the net. But for whatever reason, the luck just not was not with them on that one. And you know, you kind of got to give it to Ignition. I mean, when you're being pegged back as hard as they were by Royal Strikers. Uh, they played really well in sort of just trying to soak it up. They got the counter, got the fourth goal, which kind of killed killed the game dead then. Uh, but Royal Strikers, they lost it within the first minute and then they were just playing catch-up. Yeah, they, they it's the same thing as last game. Uh, they took about three goals down in a minute and then they had to fight back. And, and when you're fighting a losing game and you can't score, it's, it must be the worst feeling for them. And especially when that fourth goal went in with about a minute left. Oh, it was Royal Strikers played so well. Seven shots between them and only five from Ignition. But Ignition found the back of the net and Ignition found the saves where they needed to. And that is what the advantage has been. And well, we're a match point for Team Ignition here. Are oh, indeed, and you've got to feel ignition, they're going to be feeling confident. It seems like the luck in this series is very much with them. And if they can just get off to another flying start, 
and they will be looking to do, ride out this series and take the comfortable three and zero. But Royal Strikers, I mean, they they showed signs there, but oh my word, Jetix has again given Ignition the early lead off the kickoff. Jono, lovely touch from him, and Jetix just sends out in the back end there, one nil. Well, quick start. That's what Ignition have done throughout the series. They've turned the Ignition on very quickly. And, well, they've done it again. Four seconds it took them for this goal. But Wing Devon going to... Oh, 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 not crossbar. in. Crossbar challenge. The side men would be going wild right now. But if they're not here, <laughs> it's just me and Sky at the moment. And that's going to be a clear away from Royal Strikers. And now we're going to see Ignition on the attack, but it's going to be Royal Strikers that are finding those saves. Yeah, they're still looking like they've... Oh my word, he's finally got in the back of the Necronix! Gets on the end of that one, and with just sheer power, drives it home. He had face John has beat on the line, follows it up. Don't know how much he meant to that one, but fortunately for, uh, for Royal Strikers, They've managed to peg themselves back early game. So uh, pretty much as you were, Gas, uh, what a piece now. Yeah, and it's good to see. See, I think that's the first time Royal Strikers have tied a game up after being behind. So it's brilliant to see. And they're passing as well now. And that is that can only mean good things if they can take this game. What more could they do? But Ignition Mango, he's on the rise. He gets the flick as his teammate up. Yes, oh. Jet is unchallenged. And well... I was saying it was Royal Strikers potentially to push on, but Ignition stopped that directly in the path. I mean, it was a lovely play. you got to give the credit to Mango on that one. Round one defender, flicked it over the second, and he knew he didn't have to chase it for the third touches. He just knew that his teammate was going to be there to uh, finish it up. And that's to me, that's just been such a deciding factor between the two teams. I mean, you can tell Ignition... They've probably been playing a few games and warning themselves up beforehand. And uh, they definitely look like a more coherent team than Royal Strikers who, you know, fair play. They're not double committing or triple committing as much now. Um, but it's definitely been for me the deciding factor between the two teams. Yeah, it has been. And well, Royal Strikers finding their edge all of a sudden. And Mango is going to clear it now as Mango looks for oh he, i look think he looks to touch the ball again but he got a bump he won't be complaining either way here as wing devon gets the clear out as jono looks for it and jono oh. gets it goal three and i think we're starting to forget, dig the grave yeah it's almost like jono said yeah don't worry about team plays we can do solo stuff as well lovely touch off the backboard and it just left left the uh the royal strikers defense in uh, standing wondering what was going to happen next and uh, sent it into back and next is what happened so they've got a two goal advantage now and Royal Strikers still got still got just over three minutes on the clock so still plenty of time left to uh, bring yourself back into this one but they've got to find something quickly as Wing Devon punting that one upfield lets it run into the path of Jetix can he get a second touch or back the wall not quite and uh, three minutes left to go you've got to feel Royal Strikers probably uh, not feeling great at the moment no they just don't I think I think they just don't want to have a full one and I'd be the same. I'd want to score a goal and Chronix pushing up field and it's a double commit from Ignition as well. A, a bit of a mistouch there also as well. I think it was Chronix that went for it or it could have been Wing Devon. I don't know. The ball was in the way. There's Mango now passing plays. They're really passing it out, but I thought they said they passed out to the back. Apparently they passed off field as well as Chronix looks for the ball middle. It's going to be fine Mango on the backboard. And where's the defender? Ooh, where's Kelsey ooh. as Jono looks for the fake? But Evan, very calm, very collected. And he collects the ball away and it is sent round at 2.15. A lot of time, but the momentum highly with Ignition right now. Hey, Jono looking to find a pass in field. Like double commit on Canucks Risley from Jetix and Mongo there and they managed to get away with it. There's uh, Wing Devons. Taking his time on the right hand side here. Lovely challenge though from Jetix again. Can he find a passing field? Goes to the shot on target. Didn't quite make it the power boy behind he wanted it. Face Jono up to this one. And they just let the ball run away from them now. And uh, Ignition don't have to do anything too crazy. They got a comfortable two goal advantage. Jetix though off the ceiling into the path. Face Jono not quite able to get on the end of that one. And even though they don't have to do anything too crazy, they're still looking to try and put this game to bed. Yeah, I mean, it's a minute 30. They'll want the pressure gone. 
they will want to be through to the game tomorrow. And well, we're going to see Wing Devon with a shot, as obviously they don't want to be sent home as a sweep. I'm sure they would love to continue in this tournament as Chronix gets it, gets one. Does he get another? No, he doesn't. And well, we're going to see FaZe Jono. 50 with Wing Devon. It's seeing Royal Strikers on the attack, but they just don't provide in the, fi in the final six. And well, we're going to see Kag get bumped and well with a minute left. It's, it's, it's basically exactly as I said last game. They need a goal before 30 seconds, and if they keep momentum, they could get back into this game. But last time I said that, Ignition scored. So I might just sit quiet for a small bit. <laughs> uh, they got the offensive pressure now. Balls awkwardly across the net. But neither of the team and on. A double commit is left wing Devon all alone at the back. Passing field by Mango into Jono. Into the back of their net. And they were pushing so hard, Royal Strikers, to find, try and find that goal to give them a glimmer of hope. And just went too far up the field. Left themselves, I suppose, at the back. And Wing Devon, nothing he can do with that one. But a good counter, nonetheless, from Ignition. And this, this I wouldn't have predicted this one, but we could be seeing, Gas, our third 4-1 victory in a row. Well, I, I'm seeing deja vu, I think. It's exactly the same as game two. I said that 3-1, they needed a goal. And Ignition got the goal. And I, had, I might be living in a simulation. Who knows? But more onto the game itself. Jetix, good 50 with Wing Devon. Can Kelsey is up. And it's going to be a 50 with Mango. 10 seconds left. Ignition have done the job today. They will be more than likely moving on to the semi final. And it's well played from both teams. Royal Strikers, they had the attack, but they didn't have the strike that went in the net. And well. 3-0 sweep, Ignition couldn't have made it look easier. No, they couldn't have done. And they, you mean, it, you, you, you kind of feel like, uh, I mean, I called it. I, I hate to put it out there, Gas, but I did say <laughs> you know, at the start, a team that sort of wrote that much information about how they want to play, um, you know, they, they, they seem like they were a, a consistent team. And uh, it... If anything, I'll say to them, you know, just watch the rotations. They were quite wide on a few occasions, which did allow Royal Strikers, you know, a few glimmers of hope. But on the day, it just wasn't. They just seemed to lack a bit of an edge, Royal Strikers. Didn't have the aggression to try and take Ignition out of their comfort zone. Um, whether that would have been the case, you know, put some demos in or just be a bit more aggressive on your rotations, don't know. But you got to give it to Ignition. They, they played a really good series there and uh, definitely one to watch out for, I think. Well, it's like you said at the start, if they write as much on paper as they play Rocket League, they'll be fine. And they've clearly done that, their work and, well, it's paid off for them. They get the absolute chill of making the semi-finals now. And, well, that is the first game done. But don't worry, we aren't leaving you guys yet. We have another series in around 10 to 20 minutes time where we'll see... Next Destiny Team Silent take on GG Team. Obviously, we were talking about at the start, this being a fourth versus fifth seed game. And that's a sweep. So, what do you think the next series will bring us? Oh, yo, I don't know, guess, But I'll tell you <laughs> what, I'm going to have a cup of tea. I'm going to have another one. I'm going to, you know, think about this one for the break. And then I'll let you know my predictions when we come back. That's, I'm, gonna, I'm sitting on the fence Perfect. at the moment. Yeah, that's fair. So, we'll see you after the break.